And floating, which I term molar adjustment, is the reduction of these sharp enamel points. But let me give you some background. Horses typically graze 20 hours a day, and they're out in the wild, and there's a lot of abrasion in the normal environment. We've taken these horses away from the wild and put them in stalls, feeding them very nicely made feeds and hay with less coarse material. Horses' teeth grow until, depending on the breed, until about age seven. They erupt out of the bone about a quarter inch a year until they're about 20. And they're in constant occlusion, and there's constant wear. There's constant attrition of the tooth. There's tooth loss, normal tooth loss. However, horses chew not so much in a side-to-side motion. It's more in an elliptical motion. And because the upper teeth are wider than the lower teeth, and the upper teeth are further out than the mandible, the mandible's a lot narrower than the maxillary bone. There's not good occlusion. And what normally happens is the inside edges of the lower teeth, the lingual edge of the lower teeth, and the cheek teeth, the outer edge of the cheek teeth, they don't wear. So they continue to erupt and they get very sharp and cause dental points. And this is what causes soft tissue trauma in the cheek of the mouth and the tongue. And floating which I term molar adjustment, is the reduction of these sharp enamel points. It does two things. It makes the the side-to-side or elliptical motion work better. The range of motion of the jaw is more efficient, and you're reducing causes of sores in the mouth. This is the primary focus. Now, we have protuberant teeth, broken teeth, fractured teeth. There's oral cancers. There's dental cancers. There's a litany of other oral dental conditions that I deal with, but the primary maintenance is molar adjustment, is to reduce the sharp edges to make the lateral excursion more efficient. They can grind their feed more efficiently. They can digest more efficiently, and you reduce the chances of gastrointestinal upset, which is why I got involved in dentistry to begin with.